I think why <laughs> people packed the rafters to hear Howard is that he spoke their history back to them. Yeah. He said, this is your history and it is heroic. And I am going to show you how it's heroic. I'm going to translate it so you could see how what you did was heroic. I keep thinking about this moment at the campaign to end the death penalty convention when before Howard and I did our interview on stage, several family members of death row prisoners spoke. And one of them is Martina Correja, whose brother Troy Davis is on death row in Georgia. And Martina looked at Howard Zinn in front of this crowd of a thousand people. And she said, my goal is to free my brother so I can be in the next chapter you write of a people's history of mm. the United States. Like this idea that what she's doing is part of this collective history, that Howard was the person who would just would would bring together and, and give back to people. Yeah. Mm. So Does it change be- how you think about sports? I mean, we have a sports culture that focuses on a few stars. Isn't it supposed to be about teams? Yeah, I mean, what, what it changes for me is this concept of reclamation, which I feel like I, I've learned from Howard. I mean, history is not neutral space. It's a fight. Whose history will be told? Whose history will be learned? Will it be history that empowers us or debilitates us? So the fight is to reclaim history, and I try to apply that to sports. I mean, are we going to reclaim sports and democratize sports, or is sports going to be about a small group of people who play and the rest of us just watch and develop uh, diabetes? You know, I mean, it's this idea that, that we actually get to be a part of exercise, fun, play, joy, competition, and it's not something that's just for the select few. 